With the upcoming version of iOS 18, hopefully we'll get some long awaited Siri improvements with AI. However, chat GPT has been around for a while and there's a better way to integrate this directly into iOS. So I wanted to show you how to replace Siri currently with chat GPT. You'll see, I have a little shortcut here and we can press it. Wait for it. Tell me about the original iPhone. Give it a moment. The original iPhone was released by Apple on June 29, 2007. It was a groundbreaking device that combined a mobile phone, an iPod, so that's chat GPT and just brought up with a simple shortcut. There's some other ways to integrate this as well. And since I've made a video about this quite some time ago, chat GPT has changed quite a bit and it's much easier to implement. So I thought I'd walk you through step by step. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is just go ahead and download the chat GPT app. So you'll see here. It's just available for free. And then once you've downloaded it, you'll need to set up an account and then sign up for it. Now there is a free tier and a premium tier and the premium tier will give you access to additional features and more queries. So you may be limited to specific amounts of queries that you can ask chat GPT about. However, you will be able to use it as long as their servers are not too busy. Now, once you've downloaded that, if you have an iPhone 15 pro or 15 pro max with an action button, you can simply create a shortcut and assign it to the action button. So let's first create a shortcut. Once you have the app, everything's set up, ready to go. Now, all you need to do is create a shortcut like this one. So if we go back and we go into shortcuts, let's go ahead and add one and I'll walk you through step-by-step, step. add an action, then just type chat GPT. So you'll see there's chat GPT. It will pop up if you have the app and then you'll have a couple actions. You can ask chat GPT or start a voice conversation. You can pick whichever you'd like. I tap on start a voice conversation so that we can get some more information. Now we can rename it here. We'll just rename this to better Siri. There we go. And then tap done. So now we have chat GPT four, which is the official name or better Siri. Let's go ahead and add a shortcut directly on our home screen for better Siri as well. You can do this a couple different ways, but if we just tap the three dots, let's go ahead and select and keep one of these. We'll go in and tap the down arrow here and then tap add to home screen. Once we've added it to home screen, we can actually select what we want it to look like and everything else. Just pick something that works for you. Maybe change the color, whatever works, tap add. And now it's on your home screen. So you can quickly access it this way. Just tap on it. Tell me about the iPhone three. The iPhone 3G was the second generation of Apple's iPhone released. And it actually got it where it's the 3G, not the three. I thought maybe it would say 3GS, but either way, that's an option. So we have that option directly go to the home screen. Again, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, go into your settings, go to action button, then go to shortcut, and then just select the shortcut you want it to use. So we'll select better Siri. And then once we go in, press and hold the action button. Tell me about the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It takes a second, connects. Uh, the iPhone 14 Pro Max released by Apple is a flagship smartphone that features. So it works just like you would expect. You can tap the X, read through all of it, and it tells you about all that information. Another way you can trigger chat GPT directly from your phone. You may have seen at the beginning of the video where I just tapped on the shortcut on my lock screen. This is just as simple as the others, but go into your wallpaper, or customize your lock screen, then go to customize, tap on your lock screen, and then go ahead and add a widget. Scroll down to where you have shortcuts and under shortcuts, just simply add one. Now you'll need to change this to which version of a shortcut you want to use. Just tap on it and then it will bring up all your shortcuts. So then just scroll down to what you have as far as your shortcut you want to use. So we have better Siri tap on better Siri. Now it should work. So we'll get rid of the other one. Now we have this, we'll tap done, go back and then tap on it. And now it works and will work with chat GPT. Another way to do this is triggering it directly through Siri. So we can press and hold or just say Siri with the word, Hey, in front of it, or however you have that set up, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll say better Siri, better Siri. Tell me what makes the iPhone 15 pro max better than the other iPhones. There we go. And it's triggered. 15 Pro Max. 
Max has several features that make it stand out from other iPhones. And then you can see all of the different information and it gives you much better information than what we had with Siri itself. Now, future versions of Siri could include much better enhancements to what we already have, but this way you can just use chat GPT directly from Siri, your action button, a shortcut on your home screen or something else. And some other updates or features we're expecting with iOS 18 have already made it into a browser that I really enjoy using called arc search. Arc search, you'll see up here, which I'm going to make it my main browser. If we go into it, you'll see we can say iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max, and then say browse for me. It will then generate using AI all of the relevant information that relates to iPhone 15 Pro Max with the design, display, camera, battery, and more. This is a free app that's available in the App Store and something that I really enjoy using. You can even use it to search the same way by bringing it up to your face and asking a question. So on the main screen again, if we search, just bring it up to your face, that will trigger it. And now you can actually search the same way directly through Arc Search. So this is something that's really great. We're seeing AI integrated into many different apps and different applications. We can, of course, use it with ChatGPT4 and shortcuts. So hopefully that helps you get things working a little bit better instead of using Siri, where you get some disappointing answers from time to time. This could get much better with iOS 18, but that hopefully helps you walk right through that directly. I'll leave links to both the shortcut and all of the apps I talked about in this video in the description below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.